Well, good day, everyone. You know, whether you're a newly matriculated student in the computer science department or whether you're considering us uh, as a discipline of choice or maybe you're a seasoned upperclassman, you know, we really hope that this presentation will provide you a great amount of information as you enter the new year. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am Ken Tate. I'm the Director of Development and External Relations for the Department. And in this role, it's my honor to manage all aspects of the Department's alumni and corporate relations activities, all of our marketing, our PR, our communications, uh, and our outreach efforts. So you'll be getting things from me throughout your academic career here, uh, such as our e-newsletter um, announcements about different events and activities. Um, I work very closely with many of the student leaders in our student organizations, also scholarship winners and award winners, so it is my hope that I will get to meet each of you during your academic career here. So this website that you see now is very important, it's, uh, something you should bookmark. It is the department webpage. It's a great source of useful information, um, such as you'll see here. You know, one of the things uh, you'll notice is the page has been divided into clusters of information. So you'll be able to find the events calendar here, which is a chronological listing of the, the most current events that are upcoming, such as seminars, info sessions, and special events. Um, you'll also notice that uh, at the top of the page, you'll see different nav options. One I want to bring to your attention is the employment nav op option. And when you hover over that, a drop-down box appears. And uh, you'll see the second item in is the Computer Science Career Services page. Uh, this is a page you'll want to become familiar with. Um, it is the one-stop shop for both employers and students. And as you can see here, that if an employer comes here, they will see how to post a job, how to access the resume database, uh, how to hire students. But from a student perspective, you, know, you will notice that you can view the jobs board from here in a couple of different locations. Uh, this is where you'll go if you want to see where the latest jobs are listed, uh, interns, co-ops, full-time, and part-time. This is also the place where you go to manage your resume online in the EPAC system. You can set up notifications for uh, jobs that, uh, that pop up on the board or for info sessions that are coming up. So it's just a great place for you to go if you're looking for a job or maybe looking for a job in the future. Now when you press that jobs board link, you're going to get a page that looks like this. And this is a dynamic pull of all the positions that are active in the EPAC system that are targeting computer science students, regardless of whether they're full-time, part-time, co-op, or intern. And you might notice, too, that the jobs are listed uh, with a color coding at the top. The special co color coding designates our e-partners and our super e-partners. Those are the companies that have formal, tangible relationships with the department and because they do plow so much money and support back into the department, it is only right that we recognize them in this way. And speaking of our e-partners, if you're ever on the third floor right outside of the main departmental office, uh, take note of the recognition board. We currently have over 70 companies that are recognized as supporting the department, and that number keeps growing. We're going to have to add to that board soon. This is not only one of the most successful corporate relations programs on NC State's campus, but also in the nation. Uh, the funds that are raised through this program come right back to support our students and faculty. They will support you through scholarships, through project sponsorships. Uh, our student organizations are sponsored by this. All of our special events programs and strategic initiatives many of which would just not happen if it were not for this money. So take note of our e-partners and super e-partners and support them in any way that you can. I've listed here some of the big names uh, that are super e-partners. These are companies that all provide at least $25,000 worth of support each year, and many of them provide much, much more than that. Our e-partners, on the other hand, uh, are a mix of small companies, large companies, some located right here on Centennial Campus, some are West Coast giants that you'll notice. Um, anyways, these companies want you. They're very active here on campus throughout the year, both e-partners and super e-partners, trying to rise above the noise. And if you go back and look at that list of, of jobs that are available, it's well over 300 and it'll grow throughout the semester. So there really is a lot of recruiting noise and these companies want to rise above that. Many of them will be on campus multiple times during the year hosting information sessions and special events and so forth. 
And uh, I guess you might be asking the question, well, how will I know about these special events? So let me tell you a few ways. Well, you'll receive email notices. Uh, the department's e-newsletter will have many of these events on it. Um, also, the monitors that are located throughout EB2 are a great source of information. And you might notice, too, that when you're in EB2, if you're here, that these monitors not only will show you um, special event information, but tidbits of information about the department and also the uh, current Wolf Line bus schedule, a real-time bus schedule, is presented there. And by the way, a little bit of trivia, that is through the Transloc system, which was designed by NC State computer science students. You can also follow us on the social media feeds. Uh, if you check the department webpage, uh, the, the main page, you'll see links to these. Uh, we ask that you like and or follow the department. That way you're sure to get notices about uh, special events, uh, info sessions, and so forth. Speaking of info sessions, this is just a sampling of some of the info sessions that are upcoming. Uh, you see here Microsoft is on campus a couple of times. Um, Cisco, Northrop Grumman, NetApp, uh, again, this is just a sampling. There are many, many more. Also, one of the big events that you'll want to take note of occurs on October the 1st. It's our ePartner Career Connection event. It is ex an exclusive recruiting event just for our ePartners and Super ePartners and just for computer science students and because we share the building with ECE we certainly open it up to them. We will have at least 23 companies appearing this year in this event. That's an all-time record. They will be located in rooms 3001 and 3002. That's on the third floor of EV2 and the uh, bridge over the breezeway. Also we will have companies in the atrium on the computer science side. They will be here recruiting for everything from co-op and intern positions to full-time positions both in December and May. It's very, very competitive right now for computer science talents. Companies want to talk to you. And even if you're a freshman right now, it's not too early for you to come and start talking to these companies. Many of them have designated special intern programs just for uh, freshmen making that transition into the sophomore year. And if you're not very familiar with Centennial Campus, it's easy to catch a Wolf Line bus. Just look for the Engineering Route 3 bus and it'll drop you off right outside of EB2. Now, this presentation is designed for underclassmen. This is a special message to you. We've always had a great turnout at this ePartner Career Connection event, but uh, it's primarily grad students, not so many undergrads. This is an issue because many of our ePartners are looking specifically for undergrad students. So this year we're trying something new. Uh, we've developed this ePartner Career Connection Passport program. So when you enter the building at EB2 on October the 1st, uh, you'll be looking for one of our computer science ambassadors and pick up one of these passport cards. And all you need to do is go around upstairs or down the atrium, talk to at least six company representatives have them punch your card with a special punch and then drop your card off before you leave and you will be eligible for some really nice prizes. So um, we definitely want you to take advantage of this um, and, and come on out to this event. Also take note that the Engineering Career Fair is on October 2nd and 3rd. This is one of the largest in the country. It's over at McKimmon Center and you won't want to miss that if you're interested in some companies other than our ePartners and Super ePartners. Now, I can't talk about recruiting without talking about recruiting ethics. This may seem like a no-brainer, but I just want to take this opportunity to say that from the department's perspective, we want you to take your time when you receive an offer before you accept that offer. Consider all the different options. Don't feel rushed. If you are feeling rushed or pressured to make a decision, remind that employer of the NACE guidelines. And if you're not familiar with NACE guidelines, drop by the University Career Center, talk to Leslie Rand Pickett. She will be glad to provide those with you. But it essentially says you are to be given a fair and adequate amount of time to, be, uh, to make your decision about job offers. When you do make that commitment, know that we consider uh, a commitment is firm. A commitment made is a firm commitment in both directions from the company's perspective and from yours. And know that if you make a commitment and then you come back and renege on that and uh, go, go to work for somebody else. Companies uh, can be very upset about that. Understand that uh, actions such as this will have broad implications. It could be a black eye for the department, 
and it certainly would be uh, would look bad on the individual too. So uh, enough said about that. A few other things that I just want to mention: our Fidelity Investment Leadership and Technology Executive Speaker Series kicks off its sixth year. Um, you know, your educational experience at NC State is much more than classes and projects. Uh, you will remember these special presentations and the messages that uh, are brought to you with those. This is one of the premier speaker series on campus. Uh, many of our professors and instructors, prov instructors provide extra credit for attending, so be sure to ask. Uh, we have the CEO and founder of Bandwidth, David Morkin, coming in on September the 18th. Uh, we have one of our own NC State Computer Science alum and director by Biblio, Paul Jones, coming in on October the 18th. And we have Jim Steichleather, who is the executive strategist of innovation for Dale Computer, coming in on November the 15th. So you won't want to miss those. Finally, I just want to give you my contact information and let you know that uh, I am here for you. If you ever want to stop by and see me, if you have a suggestion, if you have a question, please do. Um, I can tell you that student drop-ins in my office have led to new programs and awards and scholarships and some of the best speakers that we've ever had on campus. So definitely stop by and, uh, and let's meet and connect. And I want to thank you for your time and attention, and I want to thank our um, instructors and our professors who have allowed me to present this in their class. Thank you for their time. Take care and have a great semester.